It was hard enough for me not having surgeries, like trying to exist in a, in a binary society where I don't fit in, like let alone having doctors operate on me without my consent and harming me for the rest of my life. I wouldn't be who I am today if I wasn't intersex, but yeah, I wish those surgeries didn't happen. Mm -hmm. Hi, I'm Emily, and I found out I was intersex when I was 10 years old. Hi, I'm Hannah, and I found out I was intersex when I was 17. Hey, I'm Pigeon, and I found out I was intersex when I was 18. There is like a silent epidemic happening in this country and all over the world. All over the world. And so for me, and for a lot of children, what happens is they take out our internal testing. Then, like, the worst part that I believe happens is, to me when I was four is the clitorectomy. So what you hear happening is like female genital mutilation in other places happens to intersex children here. And it's called intersex genital mutilation. And they literally just removed my clitoris. And when I was 11, they did a vaginoplasty. So they without my permission or consent, stretched out my vagina in ways to make it more accommodable or accommodating to my future husband's penis. And these are a few of the things that happen to intersex children all over the world every day. And it's an injustice and it's, it's an attack against like our human rights. Mm -hmm. Especially if, if you don't even know, like the child needs, if, if you want to get a surgery, it's fine, but you need to be able to do that for yourself, make that own decision when you're old yeah. enough and completely well informed. We talk a lot about informed consent and like being able to make a decision for yourself, but that means knowing what it is that's mm -hmm. happening, knowing why it's happening, knowing that's what you want and what you're gonna want in the future, like, and, and your doctor being honest with you and not trying to manipulate you. And what happens is, at least for my particular intersex variation, is there's this idea that we are not fulfilled or not completely developed female children in order to maintain the binary thinking and then they tell our parents we can help you fix your child and make them a complete female we have this surgery over here these pills over here uh, most of the time the surgeries are unnecessary and just purely aesthetical and um, just because uh, driven out of fear of non-binary bodies like cutting off clitoris is not necessary it's not medically necessary there's no reason for it taking out our gonads taking out our testes when they're not a problem that's completely unnecessary and then it means we go on hormones for the rest of our lives it's also like kids that have um, a big nose or something that they don't ask their parents oh should we just fix it real quick even if a child didn't have surgery like you <laughs> um, <laughs> I would say like it's 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 horrible that doctors are making you feel ashamed about the body you were born with. Yeah, I've I've had so many times where doctors have tried to both remove my um, remove my testes and build me a vagina is how I describe it because that's what they were literally going to do vaginoplasty or I don't know up until this day there's still doctors who are like scaring me into having surgery trying to tell me horror stories of people getting cancer in order to get me to have surgery, but they have no statistical proof, there's no medical proof. The only reasons they're doing that are because they're scared and they think that it's wrong, or that my body is wrong or needs to be fixed. And those surgeries need to stop because um, they bring so much more com complications and traumas. And um, There's nothing wrong with having a surgery if you decide it for yourself, but you have to decide it for yourself.